Today we're going to tie a, a classic bonefish fly that was given to me by legendary Keys guide Carl Ball. It's called the Crazy Carl. It's a bonefish pattern that utilizes uh, marabou, excuse me, rabbit and uh, crystal flash body with some grizzly tips. Uh, my hook today is an SL45. My thread is U140 in white. So I've made a little base wrap along the entire assembly there. I'll, uh, I'll grab a small gather of pearl colored crystal flash. So I use just a little bit of moisture to get those things kind of under control, a little bit of spit there. And what I'll do is make a couple wraps on here, a couple locking wraps, and then I'll just stick that in on my material clip. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some rabbit, just white rabbit strips. And instead of using the whole hide here, all I'm going to do is just cut off a piece off the hide. So essentially I've got a nice little tuft. It's going to give you great motion in the water. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, embellish that just a little bit with a couple of hackle tips. Uh, these are grizzly hackle tips. I'm going to put one on each side and kind of tie them in that splayed keys fashion. So I put mine together, hold them together. The key to these, these splayed wing deals is to not let go of the feathers with your non-dominant hand, and that way when you're actually tightened down on them, they stay in the position that you want them to instead of sliding around on you. Okay, so we've got, so far we've had the, uh, we've got the tail in place, the little winglets in there. Next thing we're gonna do is lay in a strip of medium-sized vinyl rib. What I'll do is I'll take that vinyl rib and I'll lay it down the hook shank so I don't have a whole bunch of mass at the tie-in point. Make sure you leave space at the end to finish the fly with a nice head and everything. Once that stuff's in place, I'll take that crystal flash that we set aside there for a minute. And the thing I like about this V-rib and the crystal flash is that it really gives it a bunch of depth. kind of gives it some you know luster that comes from the inside all I'm doing is wrapping that crystal flash down the shank and then I'm going to tie it straight off of the eye for a moment or two next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that v-rib right over the top of that crystal flash. And you can see like all of a sudden that sparkle really kind of gets magnified almost. A couple wraps on each side of that V-rib to really lock it in place so that when you let go it's not just gonna unravel on you. Nothing worse than that. A couple more wraps just to smooth that head out a bit. So I the last one, on the tail with the rabbit, I just kind of snipped off a bit of the hair. This time I'm going to make a, a wing and I'm going to leave the hide actually in place. Um, and that's going to make for a much more durable fly. So I'll rotate the hook in my vise or if you don't have a rotator you can just uh, take the hook out, put it in, back in upside down. I'm going to lay that hide down right at that space that I left myself. So there we've got a nice overwing. We're going to take that this excess strands of crystal flash that we tied tied forward and flip those over the wing. So we've got a little bit of sparkle on the inside, a little sparkle on the outside. And ice could be added to this thing oh, absolutely. in the back or absolutely. front, really. Yeah, this this pattern was first given to me, I don't in 1998 or something like that. I think Carl had been fishing it for a number of years before that uh, time. So you know, a lot of improvements have come along in the fly tying stuff, so, you know, yeah. you can embellish it kind of any way you want to. 
The final step on this is going to be to tie a, a weed guard. This is kind of a tailing bonefish fly. So what I've got here is a strip of 35 pound mono. You can use anything really over 20, uh, but the idea is that you're gonna make this stiff enough that uh, it's not gonna hang up when you cast it over turtle grass. So what I've done is I've taken about two and a half inches or three inches of 35 pound mono. I've made a V in it and then what I normally do is just take my teeth and kind of nibble it down a little bit so that that V is really nice and tight. Then I'm gonna go right over the top of that head and kind of classic figure eight tie that, that uh, weed guard in place. So that's one way. Kind of a little straggler piece of crystal flash there. These only really need to be as long as uh, just a little bit past the, the hook, so that like halfway through where the point is, uh, back down. A little drop of super glue will help take care of that. And then, you know, to kind of liven up, make this just a little bit uh, sexier fly, if you will, I've got a cautery tool. I just heat that baby up, should be glowing red, and I'll touch it to that mono and just kind of. Uh, make the addition of like little eyeballs stalks on the, the mono itself. Not something you have to do, but kind of a neat little embellishment. Uh, final step, of course, is going to be to whip finish it. And there is a completed Crazy Carl. Uh, it's one of my favorite tailing bonefish flies, and of course we could add uh, bee chain eye to it or wet eyes to it if we were fishing slightly deeper water. It's worked really, really well in the Bahamas and also in the uh, Northern Keys. Again, one of my favorites. Hope it's one of yours too.